Nothing dooms a romantic Valentine's dinner quite like a roach-infested restaurant, and we have one on tonight's Dirty Dining. Well, 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears shows you the restaurant in a rocky relationship with health inspectors. Fa Little Saigon on Spring Mountain and Valley View is a three-time Dirty Dining repeat offender. Under various owners, the restaurant has been on the wrong side of the health code off and on for years, but is working hard to set things right. They're right in here, in this pan. Fa Little Saigon was shut down January 27th for a cockroach infestation. Inspectors saw at least a dozen multi-generational roaches vigorously moving within a thick layer of food and grease in the metal pan under the cook line. Yeah, it was all in the back of the, of the tray, but yes, you're right, they were moving. Worse. Tim Molson is known as the fixer for restaurants in real trouble. The seasoned food safety consultant specializes in turning ethnic restaurants around. No, amigo. Use the rice scoop next time, okay? Don't use that bowl. Fa Little Saigon's current owner hired Molson to help break the restaurant cycle of violations, downgrades, and closures. And he's going to do the right thing. This is his first restaurant. They were back to a zero demerit A grade on January 31st. Molson says the recent setback came after losing two experienced managers who oversaw the kitchen. But the problem was that after these managers left, the attention to the cleanliness in the kitchen kind of dropped. So there's grease buildup and things, you know, all the things that cockroaches like to eat. Inspectors found an excessive accumulation of food and grease throughout the kitchen. And they found a roach at the bottom of an uncovered container of cooking oil. So this is a very old building. Uh, pest infestation has been ongoing and offgoing for a long time. This is definitely not the first time they've been shut down for no, a roach infestation. No. That's for sure. Molson says all the equipment was pulled out of the kitchen, steam cleaned and scrubbed. The owner voluntarily staying closed for five days to make sure all the bugs were gone. In the meantime, we sat with the entire staff and I did remedial training. Other violations included mold in the ice machine, dirty utensils stored as clean, a dirty slicer, pan stored as clean containing a standing brown liquid, bowls dirty with food debris, and dirty food scissors stored inside a pipe. Inspectors also found employees eating and drinking while preparing customers' food. You came to my office and I was a doctor and I was going to operate on you. Do you want me to put you on a clean table or a dirty table? Do you want me to use a clean knife or a dirty knife? You want me to sandwich while I'm cutting your head open? Molson uses that analogy to put cross-contamination in perspective when training staff. He says culture is the most common barrier to proper food handling, and he works to help bridge the gap with those who come from other countries. In those local areas, the people have grown more immunity towards those common bacteria. Here in America, we live in a sterile land. Perhaps the biggest change restaurant owners will have to get used to is a huge hike in health district fees. Violating the health code has just gotten much more expensive. On February 1st, the C downgrade fee nearly tripled, going from $477 to $1,200. The closure fee doubled to $1,400 from $716. It's basically the health department's way of letting them know that it's more serious than, than just a matter of being closed and open tomorrow. The fee structure, I think, is going to hurt a lot of restaurants. I think a lot of restaurants are going to end up being closed. The health district says in addition to serving as a deterrence, fees are calculated to cover the cost of environmental health services, which they were no longer doing. The last fee increase was in 2009. Repeat offender Asian Barbecue and Noodle on Jones between Spring Mountain and Desert Inn got the highest demerits with a 39 demerit C grade on its January 29th inspection. Multiple employees went into the back alley and returned to the kitchen to prepare food without washing hands. They'd set a sheet tray on top of a trash can to chop bok choy. Cutting boards were dirty. Floors and walls behind equipment were filthy with heavy grease and food debris. And beef bone marrow was being thawed in standing water in the mop sink. There was also a bone saw inspector said was not to be used for contact with food. Employees said it wasn't making us wonder what they were using it for. 
Due to consecutive C downgrades, Asian barbecue and noodle was placed in the health district's administrative process, and that requires intervention training. It still has a C grade. Darcy Spears, 13.